28th April to 11th of July, Venus will be combust and combustion is a terrible thing, right? Combustion is bad, it's good, it's bad, good, bad, good, bad. Oof, nobody knows what is combustion, right? It's, hmm, it's a bizarre thing to happen. So what happens when combustion is there for a planet? Well, before even that, <laughs> we should know that combustion is not a bad thing. Or even is it? Uh, well, actually, for some people, it is bad. For some, it is good. I'll tell you. So, so after hearing this, you decide in which category you fall. All right. So, of course, this two categorization is not black and white, you know, which means nobody will, uh, nobody can claim that they perfectly fall in this, you know, either the right side or the left side. Okay. So, you will experience combustion to a certain extent depending on your, uh, which of the categories you are. Okay. And this is not only applicable to Venus, this is also applicable to any other planet which gets combust, all right? <laughs> so, which are the dates? So, if I go to uh, see the dates, it's around 28th of April, uh, yeah, another week, and then till 11th of July, okay? So, quite a long time, you know, May, June, and yeah, around like quite some time. So, basically, this is the period when Venus is close to the sun, okay? Now, what is the sun? Surya is the Nesargic Atma Karaka. Okay, what does it mean, Nesargic Atma Karaka? It means the sun signifies the soul, the desires of the soul, all right? It does not signify the pure soul. This is this is very important. The pure soul is actually uh, Chit, okay? So, and the Chit is actually Jupiter, which is, you know, pure consciousness. It has nothing to do with matter, okay? Completely oblivious to matter who actually we are, all right? That is why Jupiter is Jeev Tattva, it never dies. As <clears throat> Krishna says in the Gita, no, you cannot cut the soul, you know, na hanne te hanne mane sharire. So, but now what happens is when the soul comes to the material world, it identifies with something, okay? So first the soul has this uh, subtle body, you know, which, which comprises of mind, intelligence and false ego, and uh, which is called as... Uh, Sukshma Sharir, okay, it's like subtle body. And then finally the soul gets a gross body, okay, which is called Thulya Sharir, which is, you know, this um, the earth, air, <clears throat> the five elements, Pancha Tattva, okay. So every part of our body, the physical body, every part, every dot of our body has the, uh, the Pancha Tattva, okay, <clears throat> earth, water. <clears throat> so therefore, you need to understand when the soul is there in the spiritual realm and because of identification with the material realm, it develops an identity. So that is the Surya. Oh, but this video was about Venus combust, right? Well, if you don't understand the sun, you can't understand combustion. And if you can't understand combustion, you cannot understand Venus combustion, all right? So please bear with me with <laughs> combustion. It's very important to understand because otherwise you will be misled with combustion videos. So now what happens when this pure consciousness, the chit, identifies with the matter, then what happens is you get a new identity. That is why the sun is called as Atma, all right? Atma Karak. Now, Atma in general in India, if you say, oh, this is, you know, when somebody dies, they say, you know, may their Atma get Shanti, you know, Atma ko Shanti mile. No, they say Atma in a spiritual level, okay? Like, you know, the soul, which is not related to the body. But... Actually, the word Atma means the self, which means whoever you identify yourself with. If you say, oh, I am an Indian, then that's your Atma. If you say, I am an engineer, okay, that's my Atma. Okay, so what happens is the difference between the sun and the Jupiter is that the sun has identification with the material world. Jupiter has no identification with the material world at a very higher octave. Okay, but, and, and of course, Jupiter is, you know, all the things like, you know, children, family, finance, and all this. But at a spiritual level, it has no identification. And that's why it represents your guru. But now, when this pure chit comes to the material world, it becomes chitta, okay? So, this is very important because what happens when the soul gets entrapped into the material uh, realm? Uh, the soul starts identifying, okay, in this life, I was born in India in one place. I was born in Germany uh, or, you know, Australia, Yugoslavia, Uganda, wherever. And that's my identity. And that considerably shapes our worldview. Okay. So therefore, then what happens is we indulge in karma. 
okay karma in the sense you know good and bad both okay primarily negative karma sinful karma so <clears throat> because of that uh, our nature gets covered okay what is the meaning of nature gets covered it means uh, when you see it it's like you know imagine a person is there he's very disciplined but uh, from tomorrow he starts drinking wine and uh, smoking so then what happens gradually his discipline will go down okay so he will start to do things which he would have not done uh, either ways other ways so then what happens is the patan starts you know the fall down starts so fall down of the consciousness is a result of sinful habits okay so then what happens is the person cannot make necessary sacrifices in life because of which the person cannot experience life in its full capacity now that is exactly what we get to change when a planet gets combust so when venus is getting combust what is happening is something related to venus now when i say related to venus there are two things one is you know the houses that venus lords okay depending on your ascendant so which which is you know wherever libra or libra and taurus wherever these two signs are falling from your ascendant something related to those houses or it could be or other this and both you know not just or so wherever taurus and libra is and where the natural significations of venus comes uh, into play like you know love romance beauty creativity sexuality art and all this uh, vehicles also so Taurus, Libra and the natural significations of Venus. So when these two things come at, so something related to these, these aspects are going to need some sacrifice from us. Okay, we, we have to sacrifice certain things in this area. Otherwise, what will happen is we will not be able to use our full potential and then we will claim that, you know, uh, things are not working in our favor because when... A planet is combust, it means it's very close to the sun. So what does it mean? It means that the, the deficiencies of that planet are exposed. Okay, so when a planet is close to the sun, what happens? It is exposed. Now, some people say, no, actually, you know, the opposite, you know, it's called Asta or something. It's like, you know, the planet is not visible. Well, that's true. <clears throat> but it's like if you look to the sun, you also see that planet. Okay, I mean, you may not literally see it because the sun is so bright. But what is happening is that planet is becoming like the sun, which means that. So it's like when the planet is very close, it's like when you are seeing the sun, you are also seeing that planet. Okay. <clears throat> so this means that if you have deficiencies and weaknesses related to these areas of Venus, then if you do not take the necessary steps to uh, get rid of it, then you will burn. Okay, so people say combustion is burning, you know, so people think, oh, Venus is combust, you know, automatically we will burn, you know, Jalka rakho jayega sab kuch. <laughs> they think like, but that's not true, actually. If you, if you fall in this category, so as I said, there are two categories of people. One category is they will see their weaknesses and they decide to stay with that. Okay, they do nothing to change it. They do nothing to, you know, get rid of it. They are okay with it till, till there is a time when they are left with no other option. Okay, so if you are in that category, then you, for you, it's going, going to be a terrible time. It's going to be a very difficult time. If you, <clears throat> if you just say, oh yeah, so what, you know, I have this, chalega, theek hai, not a problem. Oh, well, that's problem. <laughs> okay. So suppose, let's take an example, you know, Venus is your 10th Lord. So then what happens is something related to the profession you have to sacrifice. There will be struggle, there will be, you know, um, um, there will be difficulties. And then what happens is when the difficulty is there. So suppose, you know, you, uh, you are a software engineer and you may get some project. And let's say you are uh, Leo Lagna, okay, or Leo or Capricorn for both, because for you then Venus is the 10th Lord. So then what happens is, if you are Leo or Capricorn Lagna and you are a software engineer, now you get some project where the coding is very difficult. So now what is happening is, it is not that the coding is difficult, but it is, it is like you are doing, you are getting some task which is expected out of you, but because you do not have the skills, you do not have 
the necessary patience to implement that task you you don't have the necessary will also all right so now what you are what you are saying is oh it's so difficult you know venus combust my 10th lord is combust it's wrecking havoc in my profession but actually it's not wrecking havoc it is only exposing the laziness that you have you know which which is indicated by the fact that you don't want to code or you know whatever it is <clears throat> so if you feel that you are in this category, then you are going to struggle. Now, if you are in the other category, who says, okay, this is Venus is my 10th Lord. I'm Leo Lagna, I'm Capricorn Lagna. And then I'm into software engineering and I see, you know, that this project has come and it's a very difficult one. So <clears throat> then you can uh, kind of see yourself, you know, what are your programming skills? Do you follow best practices? You know, do you follow the things which are expected do you code as per uh, industry standards you know do, do you do, do things in a proper way not just write the code so venus combust will expose something about you now if you are in this second category you will be humble and you will take the feedback positively and then you will try to change it or else you will just uh, you will just say, uh, oh, yeah, this is a problematic period. What can you do, right? You know, two, two, two and a half months of problematic time. But if you keep telling like this, you know, every year the thing changes. Every year some other planet is combust and, you know. And because uh, uh, Venus and Mercury Venus, these two planets are very close to the sun. So you will, you will always see that most of the problems that people have will be related to either relationships or money. <clears throat> Why? Because they are very close to the sun always. Okay. Close means not like they are not always combust. No, Mercury is combust many a times, but <clears throat> you will see most of the times people will have problems with their career or profession or rather their marriage, you know, because they're very close. So everything is exposed. Okay. <clears throat> it's like, you know, you go to a profession and somebody gives you a task, you can't do it, then you are exposed, right? Uh, or if you are married and you are doing something, some nonsense, then your spouse will catch it because he or she is staying with you 24 hours, right? So even in your job, you are watched 24 hours and even in your marriage because the sun is very close, you are exposed, all right? So therefore, you need to understand that combustion should not be seen in terms of good or bad. This I keep saying a million times that don't keep judging things by black and white categories good or bad and even if you want to judge then you have to decide which category you are okay and of course at the end the cherry on the top is the mahadasha and the antardasha and yesterday uh yesterday i uploaded a video on five most important dashas which completely change and transform you so if you have not watched that video please go and watch it not because i want viewership or subscribers <laughs> but because People in astrology don't give importance to dashas. They don't know how dashas are powerful, you know, because transits are always overplayed and dashas are ignored, all right? So, if you have Venus dasha, if you have Sun dasha, or you have dasha of your Lagnesh or Trines or 10th house, 9th house, Atma Karaka, as I said in that video, then now, especially when the combustion is there, this burn can be even more severe because as I said in my video of yesterday, that these dashas, you know, like Lagna dasha, which means planet in the first or the first lord, then ninth house dasha, Atma Karak dasha, <coughs> you know, so these, these dashas actually kind of expose who you are, okay? So therefore, if you have inherent weaknesses in you, these dashas will further bring out that and further expose you, which is actually in a way good for you, if you see, <laughs> because you will know. Otherwise, imagine a Dusthana's dasha gets activated, you know, like 8th house. 8th house also exposes. It is also one of the five dashas, as I said. <clears throat> um, so then what happens is you get exposed in such a bad way. You get defamed, you get insulted, you get humiliated, you get downgraded, denigrated in such a bad way that you can't take it and you get suicidal thoughts, you know. So therefore, please take care of your life when you have the chance, all right? Otherwise, what happens is you will feel that uh, you are not able to take care of it when time passes, all right? So therefore, do not take combustion lightly. Do not fear it. Understand that you have to pay the price because now you are exposed, all right? So therefore, happy, uh, be happy getting exposed, but 
at the end that does not decide your fate okay it the fate will only be decided by two things if you take action or if you don't if you don't then that's it you're out all right so please understand this is not a good or a bad period it depends on you so make the best use of the bad bargain as i always say all right thank you so much for your patience and for subscribers who for viewers who haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and watch the yesterday's dasha video video <clears throat> very 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 important all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and for consultations you can always visit my website down in the description section thank you very much jai shri ram